All right, everybody. Welcome to the first video on my channel. I am Argonuts. Nice to meet you all. Hope you all are well. And before you ask, Argonauts is taken. I'm too poor to take over that account, so we're selling for Argonauts. In any case, welcome to my channel. Just to spice up the daily life every once in a while, we're going to try to play some games. Uh, who knows what's going to happen with YouTube Shorts. Maybe I'll just post some videos of my cat. Uh, got some more hammer models I've been looking to paint. Some video games I've been looking to play for the past uh, year or so. And you know how it goes. You get a job, you become an office worker, wherever you are, tradesman. And then you just go home and sit on the couch all day. So, let's change that up today. And all I'm looking to do right now is just have some fun with y'all. Share some experiences. Kick ass or get her ass kicked. It's all in good fun. So, plan for today is just a simple video. Get my roots set. And we're going to see how this goes with getting a character created. And I'm going to go off of my uh, YouTube name. And we're going to make somebody, like a version of Jason and the Argonauts. I'm going to do a little spin on it though. I was a big fan of Percy Jackson. And they're coming out with the live action. Hopefully they don't butcher that one. But we're going to try to make Jason from the Roman spinoff or branch off. Whatever you consider that. Um series of books that was the Roman side of Percy Jackson. So let's get into this. I'm going to not do a campaign just because the normal hey gather banner do a bunch of quests. Not really my thing right now. We're going to do a simple sandbox. Go through everything there and we'll see what we can make. So let's get started and thank you for watching. For 500 years, the Calradian Empire dominated the continent. Its armies scattered foes before them. The strongholds of proud tribes crumbled beneath its engines of war. From the forests of the north to the wastes of the south. All was brought beneath the standard of their legions. Brutal as the conquest was, the wise agreed that it brought peace. The land, now untroubled by armies, grew rich. But empires, like men, grow old. Leaders lose a common cause. Corruption spreads. Old enemies learn the Empire's tricks and devise new ones of their own. Until one day, the bonds holding the Empire snap. Then comes the Civil War, pitting all against all. A time of hatred. A time of suffering. But also, even in the worst hours, a time of courage and defiance. As new leaders arise, from new places and new peoples, to turn back the tides of destruction and bring forth a new world from the ashes of the old. All right. Hopefully some of you guys who have played this game before have seen that intro, but I just wanted to give that one little bit of chance to sit get to see some of the art there the art is really nice um i mean there are some things where you look at a spear or a sword and you're like oh the handle's just a little bit off alignment 
but you know, you got to give credit to all these artists here. I mean, you look at just these standard pictures and they add a little bit of character to them. And we're going to go through just one by one, see what's going on. I'm not one of those guys that focuses too much on the buffs or debuffs of a faction, which are these green and red down here. Uh, I just kind of go for kind of a role play of sorts. What kind of character do I want to play, which we already discussed in this case is Jason and the Argonauts. But honestly, with how this game goes, it can go any which way. Um, personally, I've played Vlandians a lot. Sturgeons and Batanians once or so. I don't know if I've played an Empire. I think I have played an Empire. Um, but eventually I do want to get into Azurai and Kuzates. Uh, I've just had certain preferences for how I view how my character is going to progress, what type of combat I like. And while Kuzates and Azurai are really fun to play, I feel like it's kind of a one-off. It's nice to have just a pull arm, a heavy weapon, just a good armor. Or, you know, just be naked, run around the woods, I guess, and go from there. So, we got to figure out who we're going to play as for Jason and the Argonauts. Um, got to think about this here. I don't believe it would be the Sturgeons, Kuzates, or Azurai right away. Uh, unfortunately, I mean, you look at Greek mythology, it's not going to be any of these guys. I mean, Azurai, I guess you can kind of say, but not really. Um, Kuzates, Far East, Azurai, African, Middle Eastern. Um, we're looking more Mediterranean, so while African can be a little close, it's coming down to Vlandians and Empire. I know Empire probably the closest in terms of the true uh, Mediterranean, but I'm going to go with Vlandians here, just my personal favorite. And, I mean, they're kind of just Western European. Uh, I can bear it a little bit. I mean, Western interpretation of Percy Jackson and um, classical time. So it is what it is. Hopefully you guys are all right with that, but we will be the Vlandians. They're the descendants of adventurers from the West who lived under the Empire for centuries before forming an independent kingdom. And with the decline of imperial authority, they have evolved into a well-organized feudal society led by a, case, a caste <laughs> of warlike nobles who prefer to fight with spears and lances on horseback. And that's the important part here. I love playing on the horseback uh, type of combat. There's just something about it. I know it's kind of cheesy. You get a horse right away. You don't want to be that guy who's like, oh, I'm a peasant. Then you have a horse. But we're going to go with it here. And this one is, or this faction is more money-based than others. Uh, so you can receive recruiting lords, cost 20 more influence. Not really a currency like cash, but it's a currency nonetheless. You get 5% more renown from battles, 15% more income while serving as a mercenary, and 10% more production. Um... Uh, bonus to villages bound to castles so they're not the best i've heard some people say you know batanians are the best because um speed loss penalty and sight range are amazing when you're running around the map you do not want to get caught in an army that's 500 to a thousand people when you only have 200 um but you know i'm not that type of guy let's just have some fun with it um sturgeons are kind of fun too um but yeah, you know how that goes. You end up just looking at all the options all over again. So let's get into it. And here we go. This hunk of a man. Let's get some clothes on you. Sorry, YouTube is probably going to flag me for that. Uh, but let's see. Let's try. Let's see if we can randomize it a little bit. See if there's anybody that... Sorry, I mean that is not Jason right there. We may just have to reset all. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Look at that stash. Holy crap. All right. Let's just reset all and kind of get some. What the? Dude, stop smiling, man. Okay. Let's get something good here. Let's say, you know, he's supposed to be a hero, a little bit taller. Let's try to get a little bit of strength in there. Kind of a, sorry YouTube, we're gonna have to make him, let's give him a little bit of a gut. He's strong, tall, just a beefy man in general. He's gonna get that golden fleece, whoever he needs. Let's go lower on the voice, hear what that sounds like. 
Raise the ladders! Ah! Ladders up! There's a difference between those two voices. Jail wall now! Oh, okay. Hold your ground! Let them advance! Man the ladders! Shoot at will! Hold okay. your ground! I'll just go to. Two is kind of a good midway. Um, and I don't think there is a specific skin tone we're going to have to pick, so we'll go with that. And let's get into skin type, I guess. Some of these games, they just take a little too much time to add customization. It's amazing, but... I might have to cut away for you guys and then come back when I'm all done just so we can get something done a little bit faster. Um, I do know that Jason the Books had blonde hair. We'll do that. They have eye color here. So I think he was blonde and blue eyes. That was just the tattoo. Oh, there we go. It's a slider. It's a bit odd. There we go. Yeah. Just pick the first eye color here, and let's get some good hair going. Oh, Jesus. I forgot how some of these haircuts are. Yeah. This looks like you were giving yourself a haircut. Just went up a little too high. Now, I know I did download some mods for this game. Uh, changed the hairstyles, which did look nice. I'm just going base game for right now. I'm trying to keep things simple. Uh, just get back to the roots. We'll do this, you know. Um, Romans and Greeks always preferred the little curly, wavy hair. What was it? They always had the uh, waves in front of their, their heads. Kind of looks like a bowl. Well, not a bowl cut, but one of those cuts that's just a little too uniform. Once it grows out, it just makes it look like you have an afro. Um, in any case, let's see. We can keep things about the same, so that way we don't get too into depth here. But brow thickness. I, I think there was something to change the eyebrows here. Height, distance, symmetry. I do apologize guys, I have been bored out of my mind with work, and when I get done, my brain is not functioning, but, I don't know, what's a good eyebrow? We'll stick with those ones that we got to, um, let's see, I'll change the nose up, make it a little bit smaller, that's a, size nose width do something with eyebrows all right So we should be all good there, generic white guy named Jason. And we're looking for a little bit taller, beefier build. Some guy who says, yes, I am an Argonaut. And we'll say it's him. All right, let's get going. This is how our parents will start us out. Once again, I am not a min-maxer. I do apologize if any of you look at this and go, nope, you should have picked this combo, should have picked that combo. But we're going to keep things simple here. I tend to prefer the social intelligence. Once you eventually build it up, you're going to have a lot of guys following you. Uh, the buffs for medicine especially, uh, at least for me, are very important. I know steward is very important. Engineering is pretty important here. Um leadership and charm very good tactics tactics are very good um 
the scouting, of course, moving around the map. We already talked about that with Batania. And then, of course, you have your personal skills, which also are very important. But given the amount of time you're going to be spending as a character on the field, you're going to be able to do pretty well, level up. You're going to get used to your controls. It's just the very beginning where it's rough. So we're going for a very rough beginning by just dumping into the more social skills. And then as time goes on, if we survive, we'll go ahead and uh, start focusing more on combat. So what did I end up doing some of the other games? I think this was one of them, the Urban Merchants, like I said, focusing on the social. Um, and this was, I was born into a family of Urban Merchants, or Jason was, is our character. Uh, as a child, Jason was noted for leadership skills. Gives cunning and some of these factors. So if anybody doesn't know, um, when it says Vigor 2, Control 2, so on and so forth, the Vigor itself is different from the subset abilities that are under it. Um, so this, for example, this is bringing cunning up by one, which is your general ability to learn in these categories, if I'm not mistaken. But if you put these little green bars in here, which are, I think they say, um, focus points. If you put focus points into these, it makes that specific skill within cunning much faster to learn. So this gives a small boost for multiple skills this gives a very big boost to just one uh, so that's why people have builds a certain way when they start out you know you really want an advantage and i guess for mine i'm going more so leadership um but we'll see how the other ones look here numbers way with people okay yeah because i know the numbers and people are ones that i've picked out a lot this one's good because endurance is very important at least to begin with uh, it makes you a lot slower to run around and you will get uh, butchered if you cannot run away if you need to um, but we're gonna go with let's see let's go something with social social is really low right now and we need to level that one up and then growing up, Jason spent most of his time where? Same thing as before. Um, these do vary between factions. I'm sure if you watch other videos of other YouTubers play, you'll see if you pick a different faction, you pick a different start. These following uh, choices as you grow up do change, but they still have the same result to them. You get skill points and um, focus points and attribute points. Um, Let's see. Ooh, okay. We'll try caring for horses. We get stewardship and then we get a little bit of riding, which we're going to start out with a horse here. Um, and as a youngster growing up in Calradia, Calradia, I'm going to say Calradia. Apologies if any of you guys think it's Calradia. Uh, war was never too far away. Jason trained with the cavalry, stood guard, rode with the scouts. And so on. Let's see. Infantry, okay. I think out of these, I do like the boost to endurance as well as a little bit to pull arm because pull arms at the beginning of the game are awful. They're super slow. Uh, but I don't want to dedicate any. Um, attribute points to these ones just yet. I want to kind of focus on these bottom three and then occasionally endurance. Um, I mean, look at him. He's ready to go. He's ready to go with the cavalry. I guess we can't deny him his wish. And before Jason sets out for a life of adventure, your uh, his biggest accomplishment was what? Let's see. All right. These ones are interesting. I completely forgot about this. So on top of everything you get here, there's a little bonus and it kind of can help you or it can hurt you. 
Um, what I saw was down here where it's you treated people well. You get plus one to other points that aren't seen here. Uh, so mercy, generosity, and honor, uh, which are up here as well. As you play the game, if you betray these characteristics, they may get taken away from you. You may have people treat you differently, and you may get the opposite of this. Like, I think crazed is the op opposite of merciful, um, or um, ruthless, or something along those lines, where people will kind of fear you, uh, but they won't put as much mercy upon you as uh, you've lost your mercy. You're not as merciful to them, they're not going to be merciful to you. Um, let's do treat people well. Once again, going into social, get steward up. Uh, and we should be all good to go. I completely forgot about the age. Let's do, let's do young age. Let's get this guy as big of a life as possible. And now we're on to our banner. We're gonna have to find a banner here that suits us. And Argonauts. What is a good Argonaut? Could it be a, a, just a boat? I don't want it to look goofy but you never know if anybody does know if the argonauts had a symbol in the story or anything like a flag i know maybe it was just the oh, i'm, I'm going to show my inexperience with uh, ancient history here but if um they had kind of a city state or um some sort of kingdom or any sort of flag please let me know uh because i'll be interested to know i'm Kind of one of those guys who likes to get into history but is getting pretty lazy about it why don't we let's see i think we can change this at any time so we'll be okay if we end up choosing something and we want to shift it around why don't we just start with a simple fish you know argonauts on a boat out in the open ocean Let's go for it. Let's make it a little bit bigger so that way it's actually on the flag. Let's go for it. All right. Last color. Ooh. Could do a golden blue if we reverse it. Kind of looks weird with the gold up there. So yeah, we'll go blue and gold. Let's go. family name we're just going to keep it simple let's say argo since it's jason and the argonauts and our name is jason so we get to see all the things we picked culture what is um benefits and cons of being part of landia urban merchants all the way down the list we just looked at here clan argo so let's jump into it oh okay we do have to pick the difficulty. Now, banner lord difficulty is fun, um, but we're going to try to take this lightly, at least for a little bit of time here. Let's do this, where... Um, let's see. No movement bonus, no recruitment bonus. Let's keep it all realistic that way. Veteran... What are the other options? Let's keep it to... Yeah, let's do realistic. We'll just try to keep our character alive so we can at least do some stuff, but we can't abuse our power. Um, okay, disable hero deaths. Um, clan member death. Sure, let's, let's try to keep this uh, on for right now auto allocate we'll keep that on just in case I do also have like a temptation to just let clan members do their thing and then we just have to deal with whatever we get um, you know what I hate save scumming and I hate the idea of doing that to you guys so let's just go for Iron Man and auto allocate um, and if we die we die 
All right, so here we are in the map. I'm going to scroll out for you guys here. Apologies, I will need to remember how to move around. Okay, it's WASD to move around the map. So here we are. Flandia is on the west coast here. This is kind of a interpretation of what medieval Europe and, of course, a little bit of Asia and Africa would look like if you just distorted things a little bit. Uh, so we do have Vlandia as the Westerners. We have um, the Batanians as kind of the Celtic groups up in the mountains and forests. They usually get stomped on pretty hard, so let's keep an eye out for them, see how they do, because they are surrounded by four different factions. Uh, continuing east, we get the, I think it's the Western Empire. I do forget if it's, yep, Western Empire, um, which is then paired with the other purples. So we have Northern and Southern. Uh, these guys, obviously, in the story we just watched, the Empire was the biggest faction, controlled this whole continent, kind of broke apart. Now they have a feud between each other. Um, I can't remember exactly what it is. I think Southern Empire, it was based on genetics, like she's the rightful heir of the family um but then we have the northern which i believe are the the senators basically they just wanted to keep order in the government and then we have the western which is more military if i get those mixed up it's still those three in general i believe it's military government and um family uh, are the three main factions of the empire then we have the azurai Kind of this big stretch down here. Uh, in a lot of campaigns with Landia, they end up fighting Azurai a lot. So if we become a mercenary, we should start to see a lot of fights in this direction. Uh, generally, the empires are too small and bickering amongst each other to hold on to all their land at the beginning. And Vlandia and or the Azurai end up taking Ortizia, Legeta maybe. Um, and that's where this corridor happens. Another big feud is Sergia, uh, which is up in the north, the Vikings of sorts, as you can see with their pretty obvious iconography. Um, they have big feuds with the Kuzate and the Vlandians, and I think they end up stomping on uh, the Batanians a little bit more too. They cannot catch a break. Then, uh, that should be everybody here. Uh, so we can jump right into it as we get into the main screen here's our character screen and here are the skills I was telling you about and the attributes so every time we level this up all three of these will get you see how there's a times 2.25 bonus if we pick one here to upgrade which uh, let's see let's actually jump in if we go into here, I'm going to have to upgrade athletics to move around and do stuff. You can see that given four attribute points towards endurance uh, and zero focus points, I've given us a total bonus or learning rate of 3.25. That means we're going to learn athletics at a rate of 3.25 the amount of what we're doing. So we run around for 100 yards, that's going to count as 325 yards of experience. If I add a focus point here, it jumps up to 450. Uh, which doesn't sound like much, but when you're trying to cap out all your skills and you do get these little bonuses, they do come in handy. Um, now trying to figure out what else we should put stuff into. Ranged, I don't have a problem with. I do like it every once in a while. Um, but I'm thinking I'm going to have to stick with a focus into maybe one hand. And let's see, cognition, social. Let's see. We'll do intelligence just to get everything to four. So I don't know if you noticed there um, if it did move. It should have moved a little bit up. Um, and that's what I meant is with the focus points you're going to get a much bigger gain per focus point you give whereas um, Social will give a smaller bonus, but it's going to be for all three instead of just one And last thing we have to do this little orange circle is telling us We still have something to do is we have to pick 
between these two. And it doesn't matter, it doesn't change which ones you can pick in the future, it's just how you're going to play your character. Um, so this one is plus three renown when you win a tournament, and plus one morale while defending in a besieged settlement. And then we have um, viral. I, oh jeez, I'm blanking on the word here. I think it's just viral. Um, but we have a personal bonus of plus 30% more... Um, plus 30% more likely to have children and acting as a governor or uh, if we are a governor ourselves we will give a plus 10% daily chance to get plus one relation with a random notable in a governed settlement while a continuous project is active that one's not as useful I think we're gonna go for children getting children in the base game is kind of silly you just sit in a room all day with your girl and eventually a baby pops out and if you're a girl it's in a room with a guy for a while then a baby pops out uh, or they're just declared to be pregnant and then eventually the baby comes but we're gonna pick this one um, because if our character has a chance to die we at least want to keep playing um, as the same family the Argo family because uh, once this character dies either of old age or combat or whatever we will then have to play as one of our kids um, so a little sad but we'll try not to let that happen if you had any other party members this would open up and you could switch between characters and you do your own allocation but we selected that we're not going to do that just save some time and makes it more interesting with how they allocate their points so let's apply this is our screen of what we have so we have food we will have to have food on the way um, around the map Otherwise, our party will lose morale and starve. Um, and we also have some weapons and a horse to start out with. Uh, and as things grow, you'll get more and more, and you'll have to divide it between you and your party. Speaking of, here's the party screen. And then to wrap it up, here's the quest screen, quest screen and the clan screen, which will show our family and then companions. So let's jump right into it here what i like to do at first is get into the nearest town oh i guess i gained a level so we can do that quickly as well i guess walking into a town is a very important deal let's try to get medicine up medicine sucks to get up uh, but it is very important a lot of your units will die rather than uh, get injured if you don't have a good medicine uh, so we're going to try to get that as well as go straight to the arena. All right. And we're going to have to talk to the tournament masters to figure out what tournaments are about. These are the best ways early game that I'm aware of or that I prefer to build up some money. It is risky though when you start and we'll see in a second. So practice fight what's in it for us eventually you get gold but then when you get into a real tournament as soon as you get knocked out you're out you lose all your bets all your money that you initially put in and you're gone so uh, let's see practice fight okay so we're getting thrown in to just a random scenario luckily we have a shield and some armor on us but we just gotta survive keep an eye out for any archers that will try to snipe us so see how he's blocking to the left this is directional based so if i swing my mouse to the left or right it will swing in that way and then if i block while pressing the same button will block in that direction. We don't want to mess with those guys. Oh. There we go. So we're going to grab this, switch back to the shield, and just charge right now. Oh, shit. Okay. And there we go. All right. To show you how slow pull arms are, So there really is a bad delay when you first start, and you got to be careful with that. Um, you can also bob and weave on the crossbow. There we 
go. And they will spawn in right behind you when you're not looking, so just best to be careful. Which, now that I think about that. Okay, that was pretty lucky that we got a few people off. Uh, oh shit. So it's, it sucks that he's gonna take a lot of the kills, but it's better to be at the end of the tournament than to be with more kills and. Uh, oh! No, yeah, I forgot. So when you swing, yeah, you just gotta get out of the way. Um, but luckily, we got 10 dinars. I think is the currency um, so we appreciate that let's jump in and try one more time see what happens here this one we got to be very careful because we will get demolished if we get shot too many times right, let's post it here oh Okay, you can walk right past me, I guess. Okay. They're just ignoring me, okay? Oh no. No, 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 no. no. You can keep ignoring me. Keep ignoring me. Oh. Okay, where's that shield? Where's that shield? Oh. Bob and weave, Bob and weave. Okay. All right, I am not doing very hot with this crossbow here, but oh my god! Okay, there we go. Gotta watch if anybody's aiming for me. I am a bit rusty here, and, and not that good at crossbow in general. I will say though, I am very lucky that they're not going towards me though. Um, a few of them could have just taken me right off the map. Oh no, okay. Yeah, we're not going to get lucky here. And we'll jump out. The bottom right, it was showing our health was full though. So if we actually do go back and ask him, aren't there any tournaments nearby? Dross and Dunglis. Or, uh, Dunglis, I suppose. We'll put those onto the map and mark them. Right next door, and right over there. So, we will now approach the time where we have to run around and try to survive. We'll probably have to deal with these forest bandits, but the game does help us out a bit by giving us a horse to begin with. Um, let's hope that we do not mess this up. And this is the combat screen. So, combat. We're going to either attack, retreat, or On my surrender. Orders. And ah. we are not cowards. So let's get right into this. Even though they just have stones, you want to keep your shield up. Oh, they actually have bows. That's a bit scarier because they are forest bandits. Bob and weave never hurts. Oh, okay. I confused regular bandits for forest bandits. That is a bad mistake on my end. Okay, we gotta be careful about this. These guys mean business. And they usually give a second or two before they actually fire, and that's when it's important to kind of bob and weave to confuse them. And so they miss horribly. 
Don't do stuff like that. Or you can hope that they just hit your shield, but that does not look likely. Okay, this is bad. Okay. If we can get a few of them to get knocked out or die, that would make it much easier for us, but this does not seem likely. Very bad choice of engagement. You can see how slow it is to shoot. Well, not shoot, but attack with the pull arm there. Okay. Take a risk? Okay. Alright, and. you are at the beginning of the game, especially against people with bows. Okay. So we're damaging them, we're just not killing them, and that does not make our situation very easy. I know they were- oh my god, no. Okay. Come on. 35-40 damage. I think it's around- I don't want to say it's out of 100. Because I've seen units where they have more or less health, but at least personally, that's kind of the metric I look at uh, is about 100, as that's the amount of damage you can do. There we go. So the red on the skull for that damage meant that we killed him and didn't knock him out. When it comes down to bigger engagements, you'll see a lot of white skulls and red skulls basically saying if you've killed or wounded them. And if they're a part of a different faction or bandits, then you could ransom them um, to the other faction. Or if they're bandits, you can sell them into essentially slavery. So, not very good there, but they're bandits and they tried to kill you, so what can you do? I need to do something different here. I am just circling the crap out of them. But what else can you do? You can't expose your back too much can't get too far away or they're just going to start taking really good pot shots at you. Oh no, but you can't get too close either because then they're just going to point blank you. Oh, okay. That was risky. That was a little too risky. And the blocking is also directional too, so you can block upwards, downwards, to the right or to the left. Okay, there we go. We knocked one guy out. That makes our chances much more likely unless they hit a lucky pot shot. Which they just did. That's amazing. Okay. That sucks. Um, and now we're going to see what it's like to be captured. So we're going to let this go for a bit. And hopefully we get a chance to escape. We're going to escape, try to get back into town, which... Okay. Wait here some time. And we're doing this to heal up. Um, kind of a crappy way to start the day, but you know what? Let's, well, let's wait for a little bit longer. I think we have a personal vendetta against these guys, unless it was the other guys who left went to the south. All right. Now, Listen up! we do not have a lot of health. Ha! And you already saw how likely it is that you just get murked. But... There we go. We can hopefully regain the honor we lost from getting outmatched. We'll say it that way. First time. Oh no. Okay. 
Now there is also speed, if you look to the bottom left, you can see that it calculates based on the type of weapon damage. There we go. Uh, weapon damage, the speed of the weapon, and... Um, We're looking as a cavalry focused person right now to gain a bunch of speed, go downhill onto somebody, not get shot, so that's why I didn't go for it, and to hit somebody in a spot that does not have armor. And okay, let's see how that goes. Come on. Probably. There we go. Okay, 1v1 shouldn't be terrible. And I say that, and I'm gonna get hit. veteran for their archery skill or for their combat skill in general so they do a pretty good job of blocking and defending but it looks like we have finally won okay not a big victory right now but it's the small ones that count in the moment and we're gonna see okay we get armor we get arrows if we ever need them and then we get like armor that beats the armor that we currently have so far, so good. Um, let's take our prize and get home. Uh, are we gonna? Nope. We gotta circle around a little bit. Ooh, a little close there. We actually have to get to trust two, so why don't we make our way down? Speed things up a bit. Ooh, yeah, let's be careful here. So, we are going to just spend a little bit of time resting up, um, but hopefully not too long and we miss the tournament. Tournaments, I don't remember how long they last. I think they last five days or so, and it's already been a day or so um, on top of the day or two that we were captured. So if we give it maybe one more day, what we'll do is take what we can, sell what we can, and try to dump as much money in to win the tournament. Um, not looking likely, just because we are very inexperienced. But there's always a chance. Another upgrade here for riding. Nimble steed for maneuvering and riding skill among your troops when you're a captain. Or full speed for charge damage and charge damage dealt by troops in your formation. Uh, charge damage it really isn't that big. You can get up into double digits. I just haven't seen very many examples where that comes to fruition. But... Let's see. I think Nimble C will work just because you need you need your units to react to you when you say you need to get somewhere. Um, let's put our points into athletics again. Go to the tavern district. Oh, wrong place. Uh, we're going to trade. So here's where we risk everything. We're gonna sell our horse, arrows, boots, everything we got. And we're going to also get rid of our weapons. And the reason I'm not getting rid of these is they transfer over into the tournaments where the weapons do not because they give you random weapons. We lost a bit of money um, previously from being rescued but we will get a good amount not enough to cap out at 2000 i think it's 2000 if you do four rounds of a tournament but it will be enough to give us just enough money if we win to be in a good spot so let's go to the arena and let's join uh, and so on top of the money you can win from betting you can get gold and a weapon or armor or a horse or something which right now it's a spiked battle axe so let's take a chance you can see four rounds we're going to start out the first round on blue team and it's a four team free-for-all 
Um, we're going to try to take out the ones that have named units because those guys will be a challenge. So I think red team and green team are going to be our priorities. Um, but let's start off by wagering 150. And maybe that my betting is off because I had a mod a while back where you could bet a maximum of 500 uh, per round. Go! So we're not going to focus on these guys. Hope our units do all right. And when you get the chance, you can also couch your lance. Yeah, let's try to help my guys out. Which they are almost all gone. That is not good. Um, there we go. While we ignore yellow, we're going to try to take out red, unless that was red as well. Because as long as we're in the last two teams, we move on. We attacked yellow there our speed would take a hit because they're moving with us but if we go against somebody who's charging against us then that's extra damage but we also gotta time it and angle it just right like that i think i took out yellow there but in all honesty that's probably for the best there we go. gonna take out that unit that's hard to deal with Ooh, nice and the red soldier that had a spear is out, which is good for us. Because those guys going up against cavalry are not fun. They will, especially on this difficulty, punish you for not blocking just in time. And this is tricky because on higher difficulties, they will be very smart about whether they attack or block. Hopefully we can break his shield. Let's see. We gotta try something different. I know it doesn't matter. We're gonna make it, but you know, you might as well try to win as much as you can. I know some of those rounds too, you can win just by killing enough, well, not killing, but knocking out enough people in the round that the judges, or at least I guess the leadership in the town, the organizers, whoever it is, decide, you know what? We wanna see in the next round. There we go. Okay, so we destroyed his shield. shield Shields themselves have health just like um, you do or horses. I just don't think it's shown. So we're going to try couching our lance because I think even though he attempts to block it, which we'll try to get some distance from him. I think it will kind of break through. Can't manage. He's just a little too fast for us. Oh, I didn't make it. Cancelled out of the couch. So stab. There we go. Oh, come on. And when you're couching too, because you're at full speed, you're not going to turn as fast. Um, that's the trade off there. So, we're going to try to maintain our speed, loop around, and smack him upside the head with this. There we go. All right, you see 102 damage? That's what you want to do with couch lances. So, we're moving on. It's a 1v1. I think it's the same deal as before. The last two people move on and they work as a team. So, we want the Vlandian Sergeant. So, we want to keep Blue Guy alive. 
but I guess that depends on who we're up against. So here's Blue Guy. We're going to try to run this way and not get hit. And this is why athletics is important. You do not want to get caught off guard. Oh, come on, dude. Stop chasing me. Go after green. Okay. Oh my god, okay, he broke through. There we go. Alright, we're qualified for the next round. There we are, Vlandian Sergeant. Let's see how this team does on their side. It's a Vanguard and Sharpshooter. Depends on how we're going to be laid out here. Sharpshooters are not good, obviously, when they are not shooting, but the Vanguard is pretty good. Okay, this is not good at all. Okay. So we're going to help out our guy. Shoot. Yeah, we do not want to hit our own guy there, and we do not want him to get killed. The oh no. Dang it, you could see that. I tried to react. Oh no. Oh, okay, so we lost out. And we lost all that money we bet and spent on what we should have or shouldn't have. But we are going to try again some other time. Uh, let's do pull our more mounted. We are going to go for a mounted base combat at the end of the day. Let's go for medicine again. You can see healing rate for heroes, for troops, um, just healing rate as a governor and casualty survival rate. So we're gonna try to keep that up there. And let's see, let's ask the arena master. Nearby towns, Ortizia and Jacqueline. Go out. All right, what we'll try to do is go to Jacqueline, and then to Dungalus, and then to Ortizia. And we'll see if we can manage. Now, we are running, so we're a little bit slower now. So we want to avoid the bandits. Now, these people running around eventually, once you get enough renown and enough of a following, you'll be able to do well enough and gain their favor. Let's actually try trading for some armor so that way we have a better chance once we do get into combat. Um, Patty Clark. I'm gonna look a little goofy, especially since our character is pretty young right now. Um, we do not want to spend all that money on that. We want to have just enough to bet. Um, so let's rest up. Get up a little bit higher. All right. And let's try it. Round two. Going for the Black Heart. Uh, three Lords. And so another thing too is when there is a tournament nearby, the number of Lords in it will make it harder. Because uh, they'll participate, of course. Um, but higher the reward, risk reward. Let's see. Black Heart's another battle axe. We're going to bet again. We just got to get in the top two. Sylvan is a good fighter. Um, Lindolf. I don't know much about these guys. I just know Sylvan. I think one of my previous characters was married to her because she's one of the fighters of Landia. She's like the fighting woman. Um, Calitid, I think the one that was passing us as we were going to the city, I think she's kind of the big, the big girl that everybody goes after, uh, at least for Flandia. Um, so we're going to try to keep green team alive and then, let's see, 
maybe yellow team. So let's see how this goes. Hopefully we survive. Um, so we're going to try to kill red team first, and then yellow team, then green team if we can help it. And obviously we're going to try to survive if we can. See that they bring in all their armor, and on top of the skill level, it's just kind of a lot. Okay. There we go. Okay, we took. Oh, geez. okay. We made it into the last two rounds somehow, with Sylvan and Green Team. So we are doing pretty good. Oh, uh, we are teamed up against her, um, so that stinks. I forgot it's just team-based. Um, but if we could take them out, that would be great. Completely fumbled my strategy there. Right now, or we're gonna get shot. Uh, hopefully, horsemen can deal with that. Yes, they can. And then hopefully, we can get on a horse, get some mobility, so it's harder for them to shoot us. Oh, <laughs> nice! All right. Oh, it was to the arm. I thought that was to the head, but still, enough is enough. Team qualified for the next stage of the tournament. It is me versus a Billman. Uh, so I think I know what's coming. We're going to be fighting with Bills. Oh, no, we're not. Okay. We're just going to be fighting for Francis. As Plan Daily Loves. Here's the tricky part. Now we have to deal with a Spearman who can knock us off our course if we attack the wrong way. Chamber blocked. Chamber blocking is when you're able to, uh, I think it's attack right when somebody else is in a certain animation of their attack. It's kind of like a, a, just a parry. Just think of it as a parry. We're chipping away at him. I'm just not going to do one of those big roundabout attacks. There we go. Um, just in case he were to attack um, or just stick his spear out. It really doesn't take much to take somebody off the horse and to do a lot of damage to them. Um, but we survived. So let's see how this one goes. What is the matchup? All right. Lances again. Going for a quick attack. Kind of risky to couch your lance, but ooh, it paid off. All right, there we go, guys. We just won our first tournament. Oh my goodness! There we go. So we received 
1650 gold and the black heart which will probably sell as much as we love it uh, we got to get some armor we got to get some people following us um, so that way we are less vulnerable when we walk out so let's level up first into athletics combat movement speed so uh, movement speed is very important like we we're saying batanians moving around the map very nice but this is kind of in the map moment you want to be just a tiny bit faster than the people chasing you and you give combat speed to troops in your formation which is also very nice or you could give hit points uh right now how much is our hp what are we at um can we see that completely i'm blanking entirely on where we see that but i don't think it's enough to outweigh the morning exercise, the combat movement speed. So we're gonna go into that one, click done. Let's see if there's anything we can buy. We'll get 3,500 off of this, even though it's probably worth a lot more. So let's just sell it to show it. Our negotiation skills are gonna be very bad. Um, let's see, black heart, there you are, so yeah. We basically lost 10k on that just because of our negotiation skills. So it sucks in the short term, but in the long term, um, we are going to survive a little bit more. And that is all that you need in this game. Uh, so we're going to get a light saddle. Where'd that light saddle go? Oh, it just didn't go because we need a horse first. So we get a hobby horse. And we have 5,400 to spend. We can finally get this. Drop those back. And we definitely need a shield. Get our... can't be used with mounts we're gonna need a spear that's better so simple spear it's gonna have to do the length is good enough to work um, we need a single-handed weapon too doesn't look like this town has one but we're gonna get some javelins and we're gonna call it a day maybe get some food Let's celebrate with some beer and grain. All right. Now you can sell these in different places. There we go. A trade rumor you could sell this for 157 in uh, Taras. I'm not going to mess with that just now. Um, same with these other goods that you can't eat. Uh, but you can see that you don't want to buy olives because if you buy them here, you're going to be buying for twice the price if you went to Sargat, Sargat. So let's actually get some grapes. Oh, and they got capacity issues. All right, we'll probably we're getting close to our limit here, and we need enough to. go to our next tournament I thought we had more of these javelins but I guess not all right so we're just gonna have about 500 left not amazing but it's better than being dead so we'll have to head out to Dunglinus but we're gonna save that for the next episode I do appreciate you guys joining me. Um, apologies for the people experience with Bannerlord. Just listen to some guy ramble on about facts they already knew about the game. But I thought it'd be a good introduction for the few of you who haven't seen a Bannerlord video yet somehow. It's been out for a while. Um, but I'm glad to have you guys here regardless. Um, newbies, experienced, everybody. Um, and yeah, appreciate you all for joining me today. 
Uh, hopefully we can keep this going. All I'm gonna do is just try to have some fun, just show you guys what I'm playing on my free time, uh, whether it be this game or another game that uh, we have coming up. Any suggestions are welcome to, and we'll be happy to try those ones out. And we should have some videos being posted um, shortly about just, you know, simple things. A little cat named Charlotte, she's a cutie. Uh, she likes to be sassy, but when we do get a good video, we want to share that with you guys too, as well as some hobbies that I'm into outside of video games, uh, some Warhammer figures, some 3D printing, uh, traveling, whatever is available, we'll try to make that possible if you guys are interested. But for now, thank you so much again for joining me here. Uh, any feedback's appreciated, any likes, any views, anything is appreciated. I appreciate you all so much. For your time and I do hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Thank you.